Hey guys, welcome to Mary Fitness Day 14. Today we have a really great workout for you. This is an upper body bicep tricep workout. So we are gonna be basically burning out our biceps and triceps today. It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be super tough. Let's get started. All right, so today we are gonna go ahead and we're doing two different muscle groups, a total of four workouts, and we are doing three sets of each workout. Now me and Madison are super setting these, so she'll be doing tricep extensions while I'm doing biceps, and I'll do triceps while she's doing biceps. We'll switch back and forth in those three sets. Uh, we're starting off with 15 reps, down to 10 and then burn out on the last one, usually hitting about eight reps on the last set. Our first exercise is going to be with thorough bands. So I'm gonna be doing a bicep curl with thorough bands and Daniel will be doing a tricep pull down with thorough bands. We're gonna start with a lighter band and again, we're starting with 15 reps. And the big thing with these is you wanna make sure that you have your feet shoulder width apart and a slight bend in the knee. And we're actually doing a plyometric kind of explosive movement with these. And then with the dumbbells, we're gonna do a lot slower of a movement to really just burn out these muscle groups. The benefit of doing a pyramid set like this is we start getting the muscle exhausted and then by the time that we hit into those deeper reps, they're going to be fried. Now, as far as this plyometric, when we hit this explosive movement, you're building up actual torque or power on your strength building versus endurance. So now we're switching back. We're going to have a heavier band this time and we're going to go for 10 reps. The benefit of doing plyometric exercises is it prepares the muscles for athletic activity. So when you think about it, if you're doing like a Spartan race or an obstacle race and you're having to use those arms quickly with a lot of force, these plyometric exercises get the muscles ready for that type of activity. Plyometrics are also just really great for everyday life. It's going to help with your reflexes and just really allow your muscles to be kind of ready for anything. All right guys, moving on to the last set here. This is our heaviest set that we're gonna do. You've got this. This is a great workout to do with a partner because you can swap the exercises and really push each other and keep track of each other's reps. It's a really great workout to do with a friend or a spouse. It's just a lot of fun. All right, so we've moved on to dumbbells here, and this is more of an isolated strength training exercise. What I mean by that is we're moving slowly through the motion, and you're building the endurance of that particular muscle group. Again, this is going to be a pyramid set, so we are going to progressively get heavier in weight, and we're going to decrease in the number of reps we're doing each set. So we are starting with 15 reps, then 10 reps on our second set, and then burn out on our last set, which just means do as many as you can. We did eight on our last set, but again, you can keep going if you can go longer. Okay, for these bicep curls, we wanna make sure we're keeping our abs tight, feet are about shoulder width apart, and then uh, those elbows as you curl up, try to keep them close to your sides, and then as you lower from the bicep, um, it's coming right down by your side. These tricep extensions can be a little bit tricky, so you wanna definitely start with a weight you're comfortable with. I actually went down in weight on my second set instead of increasing in weight because um, it was a little bit heavy for me, the 15 pound dumbbells. So you just do what feels good for your body. You'll definitely feel it no matter what. The triceps 
are, for me anyway, very easy to work and to feel your workout after you've done a tricep workout. So don't hurt yourself on these. And again, keep your abs tight. Try to keep your feet planted on the floor. And it's okay if there's a little bit of an arch in your back, but try not to lift your hips off of the bench. Thank you.